Hello and welcome. This is the watercolour we are doing today. A lot of water there in the foreground, looking uh, towards some sort of an entrance there, a way in, perhaps, into a river system from, um, from the ocean, fairly calm area, perhaps a cove or a bay, looking for a way in there between those two pieces of land. So just a, a, a cerulean blue uh, sky, very light, um, got two bodies of land there and uh, that water in the foreground. Different methods, different ideas you can use to, to do water. So just painting um, this with some water. Unfortunately, <laughs> I've got a little bit of blue in there as you can see from the top, but that's okay, it's light enough. So I'm wanting to uh, wet the entire paper here, the A4 uh, watercolour paper. This is 100% cotton watercolour paper that I'm using. Cotton watercolour paper is really nice paper to use. So that's fairly wet there. I think that'll just about do it there. Now with the cerulean blue. Uh, a mixture of cerulean blue onto the wet paper. Now just below the uh, those um, hills, either side, those pieces of land either side, we'll uh, get some Prussian blue over the wet paper because it's still wet. Remember we wet the entire um, page there. And we'll just uh, bring that through there. You can see I'm doing, getting the, the shape of... Uh, of the flow of the water there. I'm putting the uh, the Prussian blue on a lot stronger in the foreground. I'll have to go over that a couple of times as it fades back. So just going over this and adjusting, as I can see the, the color blending and fading back. I want this to be fairly diffused, but also I want you to be able to see that, it, um, that there is some sort of a movement or flow in the water. You see that sky, the cerulean blue has uh, 
has faded back and I like that. I'll just leave it the way it is. I just wanted the sky to be fairly subtle anyway. going over you can see I'm going over with some darker um, Prussian blue down here if you wanted to you could put, put a boat in the scene there but I'm, I'm not going to bother I just want this um, I just want you to look at this water how we're doing this We will do a boat, a couple of boats, a bit later on. Not in this painting though, but in a future painting, we'll do a couple of boats. Again, the watercolour paper is taped down and that stops the paper from overly curling or curling. It will buckle a little bit, but um, certainly the tape will stop the paper from curling. And if uh, you have to lift the board or tilt the board, if you want the paint to run, well, that's easy because it's all taped onto the board. Just painting uh, this uh, this piece of land here on the left hand side. The paper, uh, you can see that the uh, paper is still wet up near the sky. It is drying all the time, but um, it is wet because you can see that paint is um, diffusing up the top there. I, I like that. I'm going to leave it the way that is. This is an extremely uh, simple watercolour you can try. We could have done this with some, um, with some buildings and maybe it, it might have looked better with some buildings instead of the, these pieces of land. You can put buildings there and maybe a, a little bit of a wharf in the background there. That might have looked okay. And so as you're doing a painting, you might have, get another idea and go, right, well, uh, yeah, well, I like the painting I've done, but I'll try another idea. You may get an idea as you're painting for an, yet another painting. All right, you can see how that, um, that piece of land we just painted on the left, you can see how the colours are starting to flow into the water. Um, I'll leave that, I like that. It looks like a natural reflection. It's touching up some areas there with, with a, little bit, a little bit of darker uh, Prussian blue there. Just darkening up here with some Australian dark leaf green.
Now the board that I'm using uh, is flat on the ground. It's not on an angle at all. It's absolutely flat on the table. Just fixing up some areas um, through this water. It's just a damp brush, washed out in clean water, dried off with the tissue so the brush remains damp and just running it through in some areas. Okay, we might work on that piece of land on the right hand side. This is a mixture of Prussian blue and uh, a little bit of olive green in with that as well. Now underneath, uh, underneath that body of land I've just painted, I'm still adding some colour to it. Uh, this is
just some um, Australian dark leaf green and some Prussian blue mixed in there a little bit as well. So uh, underneath this piece of land that I'm painting, um, after I take the tape off, I decide that um, it needs some reflection and so I will, or, or shadow under that land. So I'll add some shadowy type reflection or shadow underneath that body of land I just painted on the right hand side. And you'll see that in the final reveal um, as well on the photos. Just touching up more of this water here. So yeah, you could put a boat in there if you wanted to. But I just want to show you how I've done this water here. There are other, plenty of other methods of doing water as well. I want to do a river scene as well with um, uh, a, a river in Brisbane, the Brisbane River in an area near Five Rocks and the water's quite uh, uh, brown. It's a browny colour. So uh, we'll be doing that down the track as well. Water is not always blue. See some of my beach paintings. Um, the water there on overcast days is uh, a green, um, a greeny colour. So I just put a bird up there in the sky, as you can see on the left hand side. Signing it now. And we'll take off the masking tape and we'll have a nice uh, clean border um, around this very simple watercolour painting. Just pulling away from the paper, just got. Um, just uh, go up with the tape as you're peeling it off. Might be a bit safer and peel away from the paper. Peel away from the paper. Just take your hand up as you go. Less chance of it ripping into the paper if you do that. Always find the bottom one um, easier to rip into the paper for some weird reason. So just bring your hand up Follow it through with your, with your thumb, pull away from the paper. Okay, that's our, our painting. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see, I'll be putting a bit of shadow under that um, body of land on the right-hand side. So here is the shadow under the body of land on the right-hand side. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got something out of that. Um, we'll be doing some more water. As I mentioned, the Brisbane River with that um, brownie water. That should be interesting to do down the track. We're also going to be trying some line and wash and some other watercolours very, very soon. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye for now.